Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve here with The Phantom Show. I have a special guest with me today. This is my nephew, Paul. He's actually living with us now, so assuming this video doesn't scare him off, uh, he'll probably be here with me uh, a number of times in the future, hopefully. So the video that I'm doing today, I originally planned to do it myself, but I figured he could help me with it, and it might be more fun that way. So we're going to jump into that in just a second, but I did want to show you these. Um, Paul got these so we could mess around with them. They're not actually uh, official Star Wars issue, but they do do all the lightsaber stuff, including making noise when you clash them. So, um, not bad. Not bad at all. Build quality, actually. I know you can't tell because it's a video, but the handle is very sturdily built. He and I fought with these a couple days ago when he brought them in, and they can take a bit of punishment. So, um, less than 50 bucks total for these, and he did an absolutely great job picking those up because those would be a lot of fun. I haven't had a chance to do a night shoot yet with them. That is something I'm really looking forward to, but... We'll get to more to that another time. So for today, we are doing this. And I have passed this thing by multiple times in Walmart. Every time I went by, I'm like, uh, I kind of like it. It's cool. I'm a huge Mario fan. But I just couldn't justify pulling the trigger on it. Well, last week I was at Walmart, and guess what? I walked by this thing again, and it was on clearance for $7. So I was like, yeah, I think I can pull the trigger on it now. For seven dollars i've not looked in this thing yet there's uh, a few different things in here so we're going to go through it together kind of a little unboxing video if you will so go with paul open it up and let's see what we got all right let's see in here first oh my. we'll start off with oh is that the apron the apron we have an apron oh boy i don't uh know there's an easy way to get this open Oh, hang on, I think I actually did it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> when in doubt, brute force the dare thing. Okay. What we got here? Ah. Oh, I got that right. Do I have that right? There you go. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect to wear when you're making pasta or pizza or any other Italian dish. Huh. Ah, okay. What else we got in there? Let's see. The next thing oh, up there. is the... Oh, wow. Metal plate set? Yeah, I think hmm. so. Interesting. Open that up. Let's have a look. Right. I don't know if they're like dinner plates or. Oh. <laughs> this is why I don't do many unboxing videos. You never know exactly what's going to happen, but we're we're making progress. Can you get it? Yeah, better just cut it. All right. I mean, again, I only paid $7 yeah. for this stuff. But the less of it that we can damage, the better. There we go. All right. Technical difficulties, folks. We're making it work. So it looks like there's two in there. Are they? Oh, wow. Are they? And they're surrounded by a protective film. Huh. Okay, they're plastic, but they're your basic, you know. I got the water plates. level. I'm sure there's a couple of kids out there that would really like these. That's actually kind of neat. Those could be for... Uh, all kind of things, little coin change tray, or whatever you want to do with them. So not bad, not bad. Yeah. All right. What else we got in there? All right. Now we have. Oh, yeah, I'll put that over here. I believe these are the coasters. Oh, that's right. There's coasters in there too. Small okay. little package. Yeah. Oh, those are smaller than I thought. They are a bit small. All right. Let's see. So we got Starman. We got coin. And then two mushrooms. Two mushrooms. One up mushroom and two mushroom. That's yep. kind of cool. These are, uh, I mean, they're, you're, well, not exactly cardboard, but they're not fancy. They're, they're press not board. Hard. Yeah, press board. As you can so, see. I mean, you can use them, but they're, they're okay, I guess. I'd probably, I don't think I'd use them as coasters. I'd probably mount them onto something, whatever, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. They look more for display. Yeah. All right. What else we got? All right. Now we have the <laughs> hand wash only, not hand dishwasher wash safe. Only. Really? Cup. That's Last not cup. fair, man. Why is it not dishwasher safe? It's just a cup. All right. Good, yeah, nice. Let's see here. Well, that's a good sign. It has styrofoam protecting it. I think I might like the box more in the glass. <laughs> that's a small glass, too. That's kind of neat. So this is a, it's a pint glass. I don't know what that is in milliliters or whatever for those of you in metric, but that's actually kind of neat. I guess if you wanted a little swig of something, you could use that for... All various kind of things. So I'll stick that over here. Last but not leastly, we have the least figurine. Okay, we're making up words now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We do all kinds of crazy stuff around here. 
a little child protection. I have faith in you. <laughs> I'm 18, I should be able to hit it. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully that doesn't come too loudly through on the mic, I guess we'll see. That's yeah. kind of neat. The little figurine there with the Super Mario Brothers brick surface, he's jumping up. Um, I also wanted to show you guys this. I had a friend of mine uh, make this a few years back. It was a little Valentine's Day gift that I gave to my wife. As you can see, there's, well, they're upside down there, but there's hearts on the bottom that they're standing on. I just thought that was kind of cool. She did a really good job. This is custom made, by the way. And uh, when I saw this other figure, it kind of reminded me of that. So I actually have another figure over there, a 3D figure of 8-Bit Mario just small so maybe i'll do something with all three of them at some point and make it look cool i don't know but that was that was fun um i think i definitely got my seven bucks worth i mean nothing fancy or anything like that but i mean you don't get a whole lot for seven bucks these days anyway uh i think i'm glad i didn't pay 24 i think i would have been disappointed having paid 20 for this and wound up with just this stuff but for seven bucks i'm happy it's kind of cool it's mario stuff it's neat I can get with it all night long. As far as other stuff we got going on around here, I did mention in the last video that the uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire video review is coming. It's still coming. I'm going to get it. It's basically next video that I have lined up after this. I've already got a script written. I just need to sit down and go through it. I've got other Ghostbusters stuff going on. Um, this comic here is from the 1980s. Cost $1.75 US when it first came out. I'm getting some Ghostbusters stuff together. I'm waiting to hear it back. I applied to run a Ghostbusters panel at the South Alabama Comic Con, which is coming up in September. So I should find out in another three weeks if that's going to happen. If it does, um, I'll do an episode about all my prep for it and how that's going to go. If it doesn't, well, hey, I tried. I'll still go to Comic Con and have a fun time. I'm sure some of you are wondering, we did the lightsabers thing earlier. Have I been watching the Acolyte? I have not. Um, I've heard mixed things about it. I've just been busy and haven't had a chance to sit down and watch it. I'll probably just binge the whole thing after all the episodes are released. But um, it appears to be a bit polarizing, which was expected by the way the, the uh, reaction earlier to the trailers, which I mentioned in the previous video. So uh, probably won't do a video review on the Acolyte, but I will get around to watching it eventually because I'm curious to see what they did with it. I'm actually looking more forward to the new Star Wars movie that's coming out with the Mandalorian and that whole cross universe thing but that's again another topic that we can get into on another video so hope you all had fun watching us tonight thank you paul again for your help hope you'll hang out with us again sometime and everybody out there take care